Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Tanelia and this is Uyang Beauty. I realized that I have not been actually introducing myself at the very beginning of my videos. My channel is called Uyang Beauty. Uyang is a Korean beauty term. It basically means best face. I decided to go with that because I'm half Korean and I like to embrace my Korean side. But I realized that I wasn't actually saying my name at the very beginning of my video, so you guys probably didn't know who I am. But my name is Tanelia. This is Uyang Beauty. We do beauty, makeup, subscription unboxings, a whole lot of fun things. Today, we have a very fun and exciting video. We're going to be opening not one, but two No Make No Life Beauty subscription boxes. These are K-Beauty boxes. There's a huge story behind why I have two boxes and not just one. One of these is for April and one of these is for May, which is funny because we are now in June and I'm just now opening the April box. I literally just got these today. The April box was actually initially shipped back in March or on the 25th, 31st, somewhere around in there. No Make No Life usually uses Japan Post to ship their boxes, but Around that time in March, that's when everything started to kind of shut down and lockdown started happening and stuff. So Japan Post announced that they were going to be temporarily not shipping internationally. So U.S., Canada, any place outside the country, they were not going to be shipping for a while. My box, my April box had already been shipped. So I thought since it already been shipped, it was fine. I wasn't I didn't think I was going to have to worry about it. About a month later, I noticed I still hadn't gotten it. I usually get my boxes, my no make no life boxes around the last week of the month. So I emailed them and we kind of went back a few times and they said, they assured me the box had been shipped. It's on its way. It should be right there. It should be getting to me really soon, pretty much any day now. About two weeks after my last correspondence with No Make No Life, I got another email and what had happened was instead of Japan Post going ahead and shipping it to me, they shipped it back to No Make No Life. I'm guessing what happened was even though they had shipped the box before no, before Japan Post made the announcement, it still affected those boxes, so they just got shipped back. So I had the option of either having it reshipped to me through Ground or DHL. DHL is what they're currently using now since Japan Post, you know, has temporarily stopped shipping internationally. It's funny because if you do Ground, then it goes to you by boat. So it would have taken like three or four months before I got in it. It basically probably would have been Christmas by the time I got my April box. So of course, I chose DHL. Here we are, two weeks, two, three weeks after, you know, I selected DHL and we have our boxes. So we're going to just, we're going to open one box at a time. Like I said, one is April and I'm pretty sure the other one is May. So we'll just have to see how it goes. If there is makeup in either one of these boxes, which there usually is, then I will do a quick try on portion at the end and just kind of try the makeup on my face. Got my trusty scissors, so let's open up the first box and see what's in here. I'm actually kind of excited. No Make No Life does, um, what do you call it? little previews, little teasers to kind of show you one of the items that will be coming in your box. And usually it's a makeup item, and you, you won't know, like, what you, you'll know what the item is, but you won't know, like, what shade or what you're going to be getting. So, got the box open so let's reach in here i'm gonna see if i can pull out the little booklet first so i can see which month it is and this is this is may so we're going to be opening up may 1st and then we're going to be opening up april and this month is may's theme is geeky gorgeous so this ought to be pretty cute now just a little bit of backstory each box has i think five to eight items in it it's like 35 dollars monthly you can do it monthly which is how i do it or you can do it three months, six months, or yearly. And which each tier, you get just a little bit more of a discount. But I've just been doing it monthly because that's just what works for me. All right, so let's reach in here and pull out the first item. It feels like it's material. What is this? Oh, it uh, looks like it's a fashion washcloth. That is really super cute. My light is like kind of going dark, but it's a little washcloth that that's super cute all right so that's item number one we have a petite pocket snail repair cream everything on the back is in korean i'm guessing this is some kind of a face moisturizer it's either a hand cream or it's a facial moisturizer but it comes in a little tube and there's a little snail on the top snail cream seems to be very popular in k beauty what's next it is oh, it looks like it's a little pencil case i'm gonna go ahead and open it and see what it is oh yep it's like a little little purse. It's a little wallet. And it has, what is this? Kirby. 
You see that in the top there? Kirby. I'm assuming that I think that's his name. Kirby. If it's not, I feel really stupid, but I'm pretty sure his name that's pretty sure it's Kirby. That's who that is. Then we have looks like a pencil eyeliner. It says Arjuna. I'm not sure who that is, but that's super cute. It's just a little eyeliner pencil. Then we have a sheet mask. It says Jim and Jen and Guadatama. I'm not sure who that is either, but Another cute little sheet mask here. Sheet masks are also very popular in KBU. Let's see, what else is in here? I think there's one or two more items. That could be it, I'm not sure. Take the paper out. Um, I'm filling two more items. So this one is, oh, it's a little Tom and Jerry. What is this? I can't tell. Is this? Lucky Together Look At Me eyeshadow. So it's a Tom and Jerry. You see that there? It's a Tom and Jerry little single eyeshadow. And that's what it looks like up close. Looks like it's kind of a, maybe a peachy gold, rose gold kind of a shimmer. I mean, uh, maybe shimmer shade, but that's super cute. And we have one more item in here. It says black charcoal chin pack. Yep, Kirby, it's Kirby on the top. I am not sure what this is. It's like it's a little jar. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Finally got it open. I swear that took me like 10 years, but it's a little screw top jar. Oh, it's a face cream. Ooh, this one's very fruity. It What it says, it says it's a chin mask. I am not positively sure what that is exactly. In the little picture, the girl has like a little mask. Wait a minute. Oh, you know what? Okay, I feel really stupid. It's the face cream and then this is a mask in the inside of this little pack. Yeah, I, I feel kind of stupid. That was May's box. Let's go ahead and take a look inside the booklet real quick. According to the booklet, there were eight items in this box. So there was a Kirby moisturizing cream. That's this. There was a Grand Fake Grand Order and San Reno colored eyeliner. That was this. Kirby iridescent pouch, right there. Gua, uh, Jen and Guadatama sheet mask. Like I said, I'm still not sure who that is, but that's this right here. The Sumiko Gorashi towel. I said Pusheen. I think I was, I was wrong. Etude House and Tom and Jerry Look at My Eyes single eyeshadow. Etude House black charcoal chin pack. That's this. And then it said Barisum Petite pocket this right here so this box had eight items all right now let's go ahead and we're going to move on to april's box i will admit i'm a little nervous about what this box is going to look like on the inside because like i said this box has been shipped and reshipped twice it was shipped to me by japan post japan post shipped it back to no make and then no make shipped it back to me so yeah i'm a little bit nervous about what it's going this box is going to look like this one was a spritz of spring. That was a theme for this one. So let's go ahead and take out the first thing. It's just like the May box. There should be up to eight items in here. First, we have Makeup Puff for Professional Value Pack. So it's a bag of face sponges. One can never have enough makeup sponges. That's what's the next item. Bath powder. So it looks like it's a lemon, maybe a lemon and lime scented bath powder. I guess it's something like bath salts. It's cute. And we have, it says, Blackhead Steam Balm Egg Pour. This is from Tony Moly. I really like Tony Moly. Tony, Tony Moly makes some really, really cute items. I actually have an egg, egg wash face wash that came in like a little egg shape. Oh, so it's shaped like an egg. I'm going to have to like look up in the actual book to see exactly what you're supposed to do. It says it completely removes old sebum, dead skin cells, body waste, and other disturbing and chronic problems found in pores. Well, that is fantastic. I can always, always use something to get rid of excess body waste. Ooh, next we have, this says, Nuance Charging Gloss. So it is a lip gloss. As you guys know, I don't use lip glosses and stuff, so this will definitely get passed on to my daughter. Night Miracle Nourishing Egg. Mm, it's a mask. It's a Night Miracle Sleeping Mask. I mean, this must be like a little sample Laneige sleeping mask. So there must be like a little 
face mask in there. You just rub it on your face and leave it on all night. I think these are stickers. It says uh, notebook, mobile phone. So yeah, they're little stickers that you can use to decorate stuff. Look like little mirror stickers. And this looks like it's a blush. It says Beauty World on the bottom. Momoko's. I actually got a Momoko's lip pencil in my first or second box. I can't remember. But that's a cute little shade. It looks like a little shade of kind of a salmony pink there. How many more items are in here? I'm feeling one more item. And it's an animal sheet mask. It says PDF, real art printing, animal mask. And this one is a rabbit. And that is everything that came in the April box. So let's go ahead and open up our booklet. So there are also eight items in this box. It says first, the Grand Order and Sereno lip gloss. There you go, Momo's cheek and lip cream. Okay, so this is for the lips and the cheeks. Nimune Sleep Well bath powder. It says this Japanese bath powder was developed by scent expert who combines citrus and lavender to create a calming formula for perfect night's sleep. So if I ever have trouble sleeping, I'll whip that out and see what that looks like or feels like. My Melody Mirror Stickers, that's this right here. Then you have the, where's it at? The Rabbit Sheet Mask, the Laneige Night Miracle Egg Sleeping Pack, and the Tony Moly Egg Pour Steam Balm or Tightening Cooling Pack. It says, do you suffer from clogged pores, blackheads, and or oily skin? Try one of these excellent skincare products from Korean brand Tony Moly. It says the white egg, which is what I have. I have the I have the white egg. So it says the white egg, which is the one I have. The white egg is a steam bath infused with charcoal powder and sea salt to purify your skin. It also includes vitamin E and egg yolk extract for hydration. Apply the balm to clean skin and wait three to five minutes until it starts to heat up. Wash it off once the color changes to an opaque white. Okay, so I guess what you do is you pour, you rub it on wherever you want to detox. Once it heats up, you wash it off. Okay, interesting concept there. And then the last thing is there's 16 in here, the diamond sponges. Now we're going to, I'm going to take some of this off my face and we're going to do a quick little try-on portion. All right, welcome to the try-on portion. I took off my eyeshadow and some of my cheek and lip stuff. We have a pencil, a cheek and lip product, and an eyeshadow. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to give those a try. First, we're going to do this Tom and Jerry shadow. Feels nice and creamy in the pan. That's what it looks like in a swatch. Ooh, that's pretty. It's got a very nice wet metallic look to it. Let's see what it looks like on the eyes. Take a little bit on my brush here. I'm gonna use my little compact from the balm just to kind of put this on my eyelids real quick. That's pretty. It's a really pretty, nice, soft little shimmer there. I kind of like that. It's very, very silky. Like, that's the main thing I'm noticing. It's extremely silky. All right, now let's try the liner. This is actually a purple liner, so this should be interesting. I don't, I don't really have a whole lot of color liners in my collection, so if this is a nice formula, this would be a good addition. So let's see. It's kind of it's pigmented. It's tugging a little bit, but there is definitely purple. There is definitely, definitely pigment on the lid. I don't know if you can see that, but there is definitely some purple on the eyelid. Now for the Momo Coast Lip and Cheek Balm. I'm assuming this is like a cream. Definitely looks like it's kind of a creamy balm. Let's see here. Definitely creamy. Do a quick swatch on the hand. That's pretty. I'm going to take just a little bit and dab it on my cheeks and then also put just a little bit on my lips too. Since it says it's for lips too, it's a pretty shade. I don't have a whole lot of cream blush products. I actually only have one right now and it's from Believe Beauty. Ooh, that is definitely pigmented. I think I put just a little bit too much on. Make just a dab. Ooh, it's a pretty color. All right, now let's put a little bit on our cheeks. This is very, very creamy and balmy. More than likely, I wouldn't put it on my lips, only because I, you know, I don't wear glosses and balms like that. So it's a very pretty peachy color, though. But yeah, I don't use glosses and like cheek balms and lip balms and this form of my lips. So, but this is definitely cute. It's definitely a cute little 
cheat code there. That was all the makeup that came in both boxes. Now I will have to admit, I was not very impressed with either box. The box I got for was it January, February? Yeah, I started in January. January box was, was good. The February box was, I'm sorry, no. My first box that we got was in February. That was a good box. The March box was awesome. The April box, considering the back and forth I had to wait to finally get it, wasn't really worth the wait. It's a little disappointing, some of the stuff that was in. The same thing with May. I think I was expecting a little bit more excitement, but you know, hopefully June, I know that one is shipped too. Hopefully when June gets here, that would be a little bit more exciting. And that's it, guys. If you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you hit subscribe and join the little family over here. We're not very big, but we're slowly growing. If you want to be notified of any future videos, make sure that you tap the notification bell. I do have a BoxyTron video for June coming as well because I just got that box. I got that box at the same time as these, so I'm going to shoot that one probably tomorrow. And that one will go up right after this. But be safe. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.